Hey guys, welcome to my video. My name is Bharat and I'm a database engineer with over 13 years of experience. I'm currently learning DevOps and if you want to learn DevOps with me, please subscribe to my channel. I regularly post videos on various DevOps topics. In today's lesson, we are going to look at Kube Proxy and Kube Proxy is like an important component in Kubernetes architecture. Basically, Kube Proxy manages the network rules for the services actually. I am actually logged into my master node and I also have the worker nodes over here. And first thing I want to show you is the, the Kubernetes Kube proxy pods actually. So if you look at uh, the pods running in Kube system namespace with this label, you will get the, you know, the pods which are, you know, which contain the Kube proxy daemon process. So first thing I want to do is like, to a deployment. First, I'm going to be showing you like how many deployments I have in my Kubernetes cluster, which is zero. And then I'm going to be using a simple uh, Kube, kubectl command to create a deployment. And I'm going to be calling it hello world. And it's an Nginx image. So it's an Nginx application with three replicas. And the deployment is getting created. And if I run the same command again, so there's three pods running. So three out of three pods are running right now. So these are the pods that are running, right? So these are having separate IPs, right, for each. Right now, there is only one service. This is uh, the default Kubernetes service. So I'm going to be using this kubectl expose command, and I'm going to be creating a hello world service on top of the deployment. So this is the port on which the, the service will be listening inside the cluster, okay? So the other pods, the other applications can reach the service on port 8080. This is the port on which the application that we deployed over here, the Nginx application that we deployed inside this these pods. So that is actually going to be listening on its default port 80. And then the type of service that I'm creating is the node port service. So the other one is actually a cluster IP service. So this is actually a node port service. That way we can reach this service from internet, right? From outside, not just within the cluster. So I have created a service. And if I run this command again, it shows that there is a node port service now. And if I describe this service, this hello world service that I just created, it shows the uh, details as a, as in like, what is the IP of this, uh, this service, this virtual IP? And what are the endpoints actually? These are the pods. And I showed you like the pods that, uh, you know, that we created through the deployment. So if you see the, compare the IPs between these pod IPs and here, it will match. Since this is a node port service, we can also hit the service from internet, like I said. So let's give that a try. So the IP is my node one, which is worker node one IP. Port is 3668. So when I hit that, that IP, I am actually able to reach the application, the application that is run, running inside the pod, which is going through the service. Now let's actually see how this is happening. So Kube proxy uses two different modes actually. So in one mode it uses IP tables in, a, in the other mode it uses IP VS. So the IP virtual server by default it uses IP tables. Okay. So the other option IP VS is actually useful when a cluster is running many, many services like thousands of services in which case the performance of your network is really important. Like in this case, it's a simple, like my own lab. Uh, so I don't have like such fancy, fancy configuration. So now I'm just going to be running this command, this IP tables command. So let's like run this command and see like what's in the output. You can see that there is like two chains. They call these chains actually in IP tables. And this one is actually the one that's ending with mass Q mask is actually for the IPVS thing that I just talked about. This is the other one which is being used actually, the chain that is being used. Let's like go deeper into this. So if you look at this, you can see that there are three more chains actually. So I just ran this command once first and then I picked the, I ignored the first one. I used the, 
this one right here which is for the hello world uh, service that we created and then I dug deeper and I got three more rules and I am taking this one uh, three more chains actually I'm taking this one again I'm digging deeper and this time I get a particular IP actually and you can see that in that first level the port that is list that, that we are listening on is this 3668 like we saw before and then the packet coming into this is like traveling through this chain actually it's going through this chain and then finally it's reaching this IP and this IP if you can remember is actually the IP of the, the pod so basically these network rules were configured by Coop proxy actually our Coop proxy service so if I delete the service uh, let's say if I do a Coop CTL delete service and the name of the service is hello world basically all these rules will be deleted see all the rules are gone so that's basically what's happening underneath so just to summarize coop proxy is a component that manages the network rules of our kubernetes cluster especially in this case where we are trying to use a service to reach our application and we deployed the application using uh, a deployment so and then we use this ip tables command which i will provide uh, in my description to dig deeper into the you know ip tables configuration and how the packet travels actually like through this external port into one of these uh, chains finally it reaches this ip over here and then if i had gone into this chain it would have showed me like a different pod yeah that's pretty much it that's what i wanted to show you today i hope the demo was interesting and i'll see you guys in my next video and don't forget to subscribe and comment thank you